Okay. Okay, so we're good to go? Yep. Hatch and harness secure? Yep. So the little speech we give before we take off is about what we're going to do if the engine fails on takeoff. If we have sufficient room to land on the strip in front, I'll do so using flap as required. If we don't have sufficient room, I'll choose a road, a paddock or path of least resistance within 30 degrees direction of travel. I won't attempt to turn back. Unless we're above, oh, I'd say about 800 feet on a day like today, about 800 feet. Okay? Yep. Now there is a clear paddock straight ahead and just to the left, so if that happens, I'll be sort of lowering the nose and looking for that paddock out to the left. Okay? Yep. Good to go. Jasper's Brush traffic, Jabiru 7418 is rolling, runway 24 for crosswind departure, Jasper's Brush. Okay, fuel pump's on there now. So I'm just going to hold those brakes on until the RPM's up to maximum. Here we go, we've got 2900, we're just letting the brakes off. Now keep the stick in neutral until I'm ready to rotate. About there somewhere. Tease the nose wheel off the ground. There's that stall warning I was talking about. Yeah. Bail the nose and let the speed build. Now we are at 65 knots. Flats to take off. And it's pretty normal climb out. Yesterday and the fight we did before that. I we talked about the attitude. You remember what the attitude was? It's the position of the nose in relation to the horizon. Yeah, yeah. I've actually got a horizon there today, which is good. Okay, so if you want to take control there, Solomon. I have control. You have control. So we just start off by just holding the nose in that position relate relative to the horizon. Now remember yesterday we covered uh, the effects of the elevator, yep. the ailerons and the rudder. Yep. So we just quickly refresh on that. So the elevator, the primary effect was to what? The uh, primary effect of the elevator? Yes. To pitch. Pitch, very good. So if you just raise the nose there, we'll just have a talk about it. There's the nose coming up, horizon moving down, airspeed decreasing, yep. altitude increasing. Very good. So lower the nose, nose going down, horizon moving back up. Now let the nose go down a little further. There we go, the horizon moved up higher in the windscreen. Yeah. Airspeed increasing, altitude decreasing. Okay, so there we are cruising along. We've got the RPM at about 2,500 and the airspeed indicating about 85 knots. Yeah. Watch, watch what happens to the nose when I push full power on, okay? I'm not gonna touch the elevator or anything else. Yeah. So here's full power coming on. Look at the nose there. Yep. Gee, that doesn't really like it with carby heat on. Okay, see the nose pitching up? Yep. Now when I reduce power, watch what happens to the nose. Notice I'm not touching the elevator at all. Yeah. There's the nose going down. If I want to raise the nose, let's put on a bit more power. Up she comes. See that? Yes. Yeah. Alright, slow it down again for me. I'm going to keep going backwards and forwards now. <laughs> you seem like you've got it pretty well nailed. Power. Hold it out you, right on 1,500. Let's see if we can yeah, hold that nose up. Remember as we slow down, we need to increase that angle of attack. Yep. Power coming back. Holding the nose 